the Pomodoro technique is a productivity hack. There are many productivity hacks. This one in particular helps to beat procrastination, especially when we have to do those long-lasting tasks that seem to never end, like writing a book or an article, studying for an exam or developing software. I have a friend, John, who is writing a book. He always wanted to write his own book and last year he told me that he was finally going to start. A few months later I walked into John and I asked, how is it going with the book, John? Not good, he said. I'm having a hard time to make progress on it. I have a job during the week and on the weekend when I should be writing I end up procrastinating. Starting was easy, he said. But now, every time I sit on my desk to work on it, I can't avoid but getting distracted on the internet or checking my phone all the time. The time flies and eventually I get hungry or I just end up doing something else. Honestly, I'm frustrated. I'm thinking on giving up. This is too hard for me. John, I replied. I know about a technique that might be just the help you need to work on your book. But you must promise me one thing. Every time you want to work on your book, you will place your phone far away from you. That's a basic rule for focused work. On that day, I recommended John to use the Pomodoro Technique. The Pomodoro Technique is a time management method developed by Francisco Cirillo. The concept is simple, you commit to work on your project or task for 25 minutes straight and then you can have a 5 minutes break. It is much easier to commit to only 25 minutes knowing that you will have a break afterwards, instead of starting to work on what could be 2, 3 or more hours of work non-stop. It is a psychologic trick to help us start working. A few weeks later John called. Hey John, what's up? Hey Philip, your technique is not working anymore. At first, I was excited to try it out and it worked wonderfully, but some days after it started not working and I ended up struggling to focus on my book again. Maybe I'm not using the technique right? What should I do? I'm glad you called me, I said. Please tell me, when exactly is the technique failing? Is it at the beginning? Yes. I set the timer, I opened my word file and then I stared at it, not knowing what to write. Then I get distracted and it's all over again. Great, so you know exactly when your focus is lost. It is when you don't know the next step. Let me recommend you the following tip. Just start. Just write whatever comes to your mind, it doesn't matter if it will be final, because it will most often not be. But if you just start, you will not struggle about the next steps and you will be able to get into a working mindset. Try it out and let me know if it worked. A few weeks later, John called again. This time he was excited. I'm loving it, Flip. This is amazing, he said. I'm not procrastinating anymore. I've been able to progress a lot in my book and I'm really excited for the future. Thank you. From John's experience, we can clearly see that the Pomodoro technique was what made him sit on the chair to start working, but what helped him achieve a working mode was to just start. It doesn't matter what we do in the first minutes, the fact that we started will relax our brain and help us focus on our task. John loved the Pomodoro technique so much that he tried with other types of tasks as well. He applied to tasks that didn't have a clear finishing line because after the 25 minutes he could evaluate if he should close the task or go for another 25 minutes. I'm happy to tell you that John finished his book and it was a success. He is already writing the next one and still uses the Pomodoro technique. Productivity techniques work really well to beat our procrastination but they will not be that helpful if we don't also set our environment properly by removing distractions, like putting our phone away. I hope the Pomodoro technique can be useful to you too, let me know in the comments if it worked. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.